It's been seven long and aching months for the family of a Park Hill teen. Brody Huber took his last breath in March and the time since his family has used their grief to power their warrior way, a journey to find a cure. Couldn't say Griffin without Brody. We really both love the bike. No matter where they biked, the brothers were always together. I think those were the best parts of being outside and just being with him, really. Just the two of us, um, we really could connect that way. Now, Griffin bikes alone. Prayer flags outside their home tell the story of a 14 year old boy who was so loved. Inside, Brody Huber was a warrior during his fight against a rare brain cancer. This is still doesn't seem real. You know, it feels like, oh, Brody's still at summer camp and he'll be home any day now. I mean, the pain is just so overwhelming. Brody donated his brain and spine to research at Children's Hospital Colorado. His family will carry on his legacy through the Brody Hubert Foundation. Money raised will help the Pediatric Brain Consortium and research done here in Colorado. No family should ever have to go through this. There needs to be a cure. Until then, the Hubers push forward. Griffin on his brother's bike when he competes with the memory rolled up in the left handlebar. There he is jumping. Definitely feel happy on his bike and I definitely feel him kind of looking down on me. Just so heartbreaking. Brody's parents tell me that he didn't want a funeral or a memorial. He wanted a celebration of life. So on November 19th at the Stanley Marketplace, friends and family will come together to tell stories and auction off some of the artwork that he painted. It'll be the official launch of the Brody Huber Foundation. And I'm always looking for warriors in our community to tell their stories. If you know of someone who has overcome challenges in life to help others, let me know. You can nominate their story at 9news.com slash warrior way.